Hello friends, welcome to Vitish Academy and today we are going to discuss about permutations and combinations. So first, let us learn what is a permutation and what is a combination. So in general, combination is nothing but selection while permutation is selection and arrangement. So this can be explained with the help of a simple example. So let us consider here some numbers. So I would like to consider here the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, forming a 3 digit number from these elements is called as a permutation. So, this involves 2 steps. First, we have to select the numbers. So, let us select the numbers 3, 2 and 4. And now, we have to arrange these numbers. So, this is our second step. So, we get the numbers like 234, 324 and 423 so on etc. by using these 3 elements. And now, forming a set by using these elements is called as a combination. So this involves only one step. So we have already selected the numbers 2, 3, 4. So we can form a set here by using these elements 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 4, 4, 2, 3 and so on etc. Here we observe one thing that in permutation the order is given importance and while coming to the combinations we don't give importance to the order. Now let us learn what the permutations and combinations talk about. So permutations and combination is nothing but counting. So we have to follow certain fundamentals of principles of counting. So I can explain you this concept with the help of an example. Now let us consider A, B, C are the three different places. So in how many ways can I reach from A to C? So I have here three different ways to travel from A to B and I have two ways to travel from B to C. So how many possible ways do I have to travel from A to C? So I have here three different ways to travel from A to B and to travel from B to C I have two ways. So by multiplying we get 3 2 times as 6. So I have here six different ways to travel from A to C. So this is how we solve examples on permutations and combination. And there are certain formulas under the same concept. Now let us discuss those formulas. So the permutations of n dissimilar things taken r at a time is given by npr where p represents permutation. So we have here the formula as n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. And now let me explain what is a factorial notation. So, if n is a positive integer and we define n factorial by mathematical induction. So, the value of 1 factorial is 1 and n factorial is given by n into n minus 1 factorial where n must be greater than 1. So, how do we find the value of 2 factorial? So, we find the value of 2 factorial just by multiplying 2 with the 1 factorial. So, we get this as 2 into 1 as we have the value of 1 factorial as 1. So the value of 2 factorial is 2. Similarly, we can find 3 factorial just by multiplying 3 with 2 factorial. So let us replace the value of 2 factorial. So on replacing we get 3 into 2. So we get 3 2 times as 6. So by following the same procedure we can find the other factorials and always remember the value of 0 factorial is given by 1. So this is about the permutations and now let us learn the formula of combinations of n dissimilar things taken r at a time. So we denote this by ncr and here c represents the combination. So the formula is here npr divided by r factorial. So let us replace here the formula of npr which is given by n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial. So, make a note of these formulas as these formulas are very important in solving the examples in our upcoming videos. Hope you understood this concept. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.